Habakkuk 2 and 2. Go home and read that one. It says, write the vision and make it plain so that he who reads it will run to it. And even though it tarry, that means take a long time, wait for it, for surely it will come at an appointed time. What I wanna ask you is, when is the last time you check to see what your new goals are? Your goals can change just like you change. What you wanted to do yesterday may not be the same thing that you want to do today. What are your goals? In, in asking you what are your goals, it's think about what you want to achieve, where you want to be. It doesn't have to be a five-year plan. Often people say, give me a five, 10, 20-year plan. We sometimes forget about what's even closer than that. Like, what's my two-week goal? What's my next day goal? Like, what is my month goal? Sometimes you need to set goals that are immediate. They don't always have to be far away. It's where do you want to be tomorrow? What's wrong with, with saying that? Move through the day having something set for yourself. It's perfectly okay to do so. So set new goals. Once you set goals, it's what do you need to do to achieve the goal? What are the steps that you have to take to get there? Well, if you're in a job, well, ask your higher up. What do I need to do to get to the next level of where I want to be? If it's with a client, ask your client, maybe how can I help you better so that our working relationship can continue to grow? If it's with banking or anything like that, like you just want to manage your money better that you've been making from doing the jobs, you can ask for financial assistance and go, well, where can I invest this money that I'm making so that it can grow so that at some point when I decide to hang everything up, the money will work for me and not me just working for the money. Let's be clear on this. <clears throat> and I want you to let this one sink in. Be very specific with your goals. If you leave your goals extremely broad, then you're not really working towards that specific thing. You're working towards something that's extremely loose. Like for instance, if you go, I want to make a lot of money. Well, that doesn't mean too much because a lot is a very, very, very big statement. And a lot is also not a number. So what are you truly working to if you don't know? If you want to make more money, simply say, I want to make $120,000 in three months, in two weeks, in a year. Start giving yourself more specific goals and checkpoints for yourself because then you're starting to set a marker for what you're going to work towards. Habakkuk 2 and 2. Go home and read that one. It says, write the vision and make it plain so that he who reads it will run to it. And even though it tarry, that means take a long time, wait for it, for surely it will come at an appointed time. Just remember to keep telling yourself that my goals evolve like I evolve. What you want today, you may not want tomorrow. And yes, I've already said this, but it changes as you change. So be flexible with your goals in the sense that allow them to move because you will move. You will change. So don't be so stuck in one place that even if you're starting to see that this goal is not necessarily where I want to be, but I spent so much time on it that I want to just keep going while well, you're wasting your time. So let's modify. Let's evolve. Let's change our goals. That's what we can do this year reassess your goals. Now that you've heard this video, what I'm telling you to do is first write your goal down. But I also want you to like this video and subscribe to my channel, Creatively Speaking, because when you do that, it helps me greatly. And I appreciate it because one of my goals is, is to reach more people, gain more subscribers. But I want you to be creative. I want you to stay stress-free. And I want you to do amazing work 
no matter what it is you do.